Alright, so I'm gonna turn the dupes clause off because I think catching multiples makes it harder. I'm gonna turn shiny clause oh not off, I mean on. This one's on. I'm going to allow healing in battle. Um I need Pokemarts. Raises the Pokemon's levels while keeping the same. Challenge mode is basically just grind fest mode. No. Uh, sorry guys, I just woke up. And this is the only chance I have re to record today. I could always just pick up from, you know, another day, but I don't want to have to do that. And I'm not really, so I just woke up. It's kind of hard for me to read if I just woke up. But I'll try. His name is, he says, my name is Bambo Herb, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great. Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Really, I mean, I think if we're doing... If we're playing a fan game on Nuzlocke mode, I don't really think we need info. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers, such as yourself. But there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Ah, but I'll tell you more at your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill out this form here. Alright, not gonna lie. I don't like the girl because she looks really ditzy. And I don't like the boy. I don't know. It's not even a good haircut. Um, so I'm going with gender neutral. Even though that's... Yeah. Let's just go with that. <laughs> Put in my name. Yep. Journey or story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills and many deaths, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Ten years ago, Maddie's family lived in Beal Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. Her father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. We're there, sorry. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young Maddie. The Tander region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright until... It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. It's strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or... 
The reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. So... There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now. Lucille, you have to leave too. Lucille. Well, she's dead. Um, <laughs> with Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed. Except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable f for many years. Foiling any attempt to try and search for her. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandar Pokemon Rangers. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied, Maddie and their childhood friend Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so Maddie's journey began. Maddie, come downstairs, you are late. I have this, um, is that on this one? I think I'll have to, um, let me see if I can save yet. Yep. Can I save? Alright. Let's see. Oh, it is at 60 F FPS. I just forgot I don't have the running shoes. All right, well, let's save. All right. Before you forget. It's a Nintendo Wii U, but I hear they're coming out with a new system soon. Maddie, sweetie, today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so that I could support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy, Theo, always following in your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. I th I thought there was um an option at the beginning of the game to choose like if the game is like just dark or like super dark. I thought there was a setting for that. Oh, I looked and there wasn't one, so maybe I choose it later. He is younger after all. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. Maddie obtained the running shoes. Yes! Finally, I get the running shoes. <laughs> uh, I'm glad in later games, they're like, oh, I'll just give you the running shoes now. It was so annoying in games where they'd make you, like, go up to the next town and come back and go all the way up to the next town without it. Hmm. Sniffle. Oh, well, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you, too. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. 
Now I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me. Will you? And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Alright, let's go. Moki Town. I haven't I haven't played this. I was playing this on a I was playing a personal save file, um, in just regular mode. Like four or five months ago. But um I, I stopped because I tried raising all the Pokemon at once and doing that was a mistake. So and it got it just got too grind heavy for me and I didn't want to do it. So hopefully this one isn't going to be too grind heavy. And if it is, um I I guess I'll have to make time for it. <laughs> I mean, unless I die cuz then I won't have to grind. But I'm not going to purposely die. I don't want this to be like one and done. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me? So you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Maddie. Oi. Hey, if it isn't Maddie and uh your friends. Yeah, he doesn't like him either. Tommy was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo. Theo. Right, right, Theo, you're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. Your job will have you traveling across Tandor observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. By the way, I'm really sorry. Um, I think I have some kind of problem with my lungs. Um, I'm not sure. I've never had it checked out, but it's like hard to describe. I'm really sorry if that's why everything doesn't sound great. And it does it's it does it doesn't always affect me, but it just does randomly. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters though, you both will take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Test I didn't study for any test. I thought you were gonna give us a rare powerful Pokemon. No no, don't worry, it's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want my Pokemon. Sheesh, kid. You're not very patient, are you? Alright. If you want to know more about what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide. Now, Maddie, are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? Yeah. Excellent. So without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what's your first reaction? Alright, I know some people like to shuffle around the starters and choose them randomly, but... This game is hard. It's and it's harder than a normal Pokemon game. And then on top of that I'm doing Nuzlocke mode. And I really don't want to die. So and I I know what the starters are. And the green is the defensive one and the red one is the attack one and the blue is I guess the special one. I don't know. I never really thought the blue one was any good. <laughs> gonna be honest. I never had the red one though, so I, I really want to try out the red one. Which, it is blind for me because I've never used one. And it has been four months plus since I've even played. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna go with the red one. 
Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Hey, Professor, what's a TM anyway? Oh, this, this poor kid. Um, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon would win in an all-out battle? <clears throat> if you want to be honest, competitively, probably Gliscor. I mean, yeah, yeah, Gliscor, probably. Um, I don't know about Mega Ampharos or Mega Gyarados, but honestly, I think Gliscor. Just if there wasn't any Megas. Oh wait, I almost selected it. <laughs> is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now this is your final question. So answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Becoming the very best. No question about it. I'm gonna be a Pokemon master. This, this kid is the kid that when you're in class he can't stop talking, and he has to be the center of attention. But before he even knows what he's saying, he just blurts out random things, and then he doesn't make himself look good. But he thinks he thinks he's being cool, and nobody is gonna stand in my way. Ha ha! I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Okay, I finished my analysis. Maddie. You seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what you want. Yeah, that sounds like me. Except not really, because in real life, I'm kind of shy and I don't like talking to people. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. Yeah, that's how I am in games. The saying, the best defense is a good offense, is probably your mantra. Yeah. You have a burning spirit within you that never ceases. I guess. For an offensive trainer like you, Raptorch is the best pick. Oh my gosh, I kind of forgot that it looked sort of like an armadillo, and I'm in love. <laughs> I like armadillos. Go ahead and take it, Maddie. Maddie obtained Raptorch. Would you like to give a nickname to Raptorch? Yes. Well, he's a he's a bouncy little guy. Can I just call him Armadillo? Cause that. That looks pretty fitting, because he's cute. He's like a little dinosaur armadillo. Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Maddie got their starter already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Oh, this, this kid is super annoying. Why is... I mean, not every Pokemon game, but why is there a recurring thing of, like, annoying characters? Hmm. Theo. Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. So yeah, you're a child. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? Um, the potential to transform yourself completely? Now I'm imagining him becoming a mech. Or maybe it's just that you're so young I can't tell. Probably because he's young. And you don't give a child that immature in an elemental creature and let them travel the world on their own. Like, they're gonna end up dead. <laughs> Regardless, for a trainer like you... Or... Or Kenix? <laughs> yes, my first Pokemon. 
Maddie, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. <laughs> Look at my character. Oh. My character looks anime. <laughs> um, yeah, Theo, you're dumb. Why did you pick the one that's weak? And it's gonna get four times, because I know Ornix. Yep, four. Four times weakness to fire... You stupid boy. What? But I was supposed to win. Maddie got $350. Yes. But but how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. That's I I impossible. Good trainers never lose. Okay, he's a child. Please don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Isn't that a thing, like, if somebody isn't able to handle things on their own, you shouldn't give them things? Like, people make arguments about, like, guns, like, you shouldn't let people that are mentally unstable have guns, and I agree with that, but sometimes it's like, I don't know, people, if people really want something, they'll find a way to get it, it doesn't matter what it is, um, or who they are. Well, some, I guess sometimes who they are, but pretty much somebody's going to get what they want no matter what. I mean, unless it's something impossible, like, like really, really impossible. But for the most part, if somebody wants something, they're going to find a way to get it, and they're not going to care how they get it. My Pokemon were healed. I wanted to be in a beatable trainer how come I couldn't win I really really wanted to win well between your starter and Maddie's theirs has the type advantage water beats fire fire beats grass and grass beats water that's the email that's the elemental type triangle well one of them at any rate learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer no way, I want a do-over. How come Maddie gets the better starter? Uh, he's, he's whining. This isn't fair. I'm going home. He's gonna go home and cry. Again. Uh, he took that harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid after all. Well, I'm just a kid. Honestly, I'm just a kid. And I'm not whining. I'm not whining over that battle. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. I'm going out to the entrance to Route 1 by the edge of town. Bring Theo, and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Maddie. Oh, please, give me Pokeballs. I think he does. Look at the cheap monk. Yeah. It's like this game's Patrat. Electric Patrat. Oh yeah, Grandma wanted to see it. Here, Grandma. Alright. There you go. I tried doing a Nuzlocke of this and recording it before. But the audio was just not, I, I couldn't, I was, like, the, the audio was just not tethering correctly. So, and then they updated the Nuzlocke slightly. So, I'm doing it again. I tried doing this in December, and that's when it was not working. But I think they did an update to Nuzlocke this past January. So I think we're golden, although I haven't checked for another update in the past few weeks so there could be another one but updates don't ruin your save files they still run fine which is good because some games um your save file gets completely wrecked what did you say to my son he ran upstairs crying 
and lock the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. I swear, if you did anything to hurt him. Oh. So that's how it is. So he got the weaker starter and you beat him in a battle. Hmm. I see that explains it. A harsh lesson, to be sure, but losing is as much a part of being a trainer as winning. He had his heart set on this day being perfect. So losing right off the bat and somewhat of a sh is somewhat of a shock. Still crying won't solve anything. That's something he has to learn. Theo, come downstairs right now, young man. Yep. Theo, you can't cry every time you lose a battle. That's just part of being a Pokemon trainer. But it isn't fair. Maddie got the better starter in me. Now I'm never gonna win. Then you'll have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well-raised Pokemon can still win, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Yes, Dad. Now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down. So try and be strong for yourself, okay? Maddie, please be patient with my son. Oh, I'm trying. He looks up to you, you know. Oh, I nearly forgot Maddie. Theo, I have something for both of you. Like a present? Yes, exactly. Maddie, your father, Kellen, sent me these and told me to give them to you both when you began your journeys. I'm sure it will come in useful. Maddie and Theo received a Pokepod. A Pokepod? What's that? It's a high-tech device that's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It plays music and includes a map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool. <laughs> I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. I'm gonna go meet the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up, Maddie. We'll talk about a dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. Maddie, you don't want to keep the professor waiting, so you should get moving too. I won't see you or Theo again for some time. You see, I'm starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of the new power plant Epsilon. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it's the last place Lucille was ever seen. Best of luck on your journey, Maddie. Alright, let's do this. Let's get a Pokemon.